Okay guys, I'm going to mill out the uh, pocket in the Y-axis servo motor casting for the thrust bearing uh, retainer to pass through. I'm going to use Intercon. It's the conversational software that's built into uh, the CNC software itself. Uh, it's my first crack at it, so uh, let's see if we can muddle through it. I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, I tried it a little bit ago and I made a little test pass and it seemed to work okay, so now I'm ready to show you. So let's zoom up to the screen. Okay, hopefully you can see that okay. So the, we want to go into uh, CAM, which is F5. And then we want to go ICN, that's Intercon. Let's, let's start a new one. So new, and we're going to call it Y-axis flange pocket. We'll accept that. And programmer, me. And we can say Supermax Y-axis thrust bearing and we'll just call it that. We're using inches, July 4th is the date. We'll accept that. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is we've got to pick a tool. So F4. And we're going to use uh, tool number four. It's a half inch end mill. Hit enter. And our position is X0, Y0. I centered on the bore that we're going to be milling out. The tool diameter came from the tool library, the spindle speed as well, 2000 RPM, spindle direction, we want it clockwise. And uh, actual tool change, we're not using coolant, so we'll accept that. So we got to pick the tool first. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is a cycle. And we're going to do a circular pocket. And we're centered on X0, Y0. There's a help screen on the left to tell you what we're doing. Surface height, you can see it's highlighted here. So it's the surface height of the part. Um, there's nothing in the way, so we'll just go with zero. I've measured the diameter of the pocket that we need, and it's 2.765. 2.765. Clean out. We don't need to clean it out because a lot of it's already gone. Um, otherwise, it would just start in the middle and work its way out. So we'll say no to the clean out. The depth, we're going to go to 500 thousandths. Um, let's go in 100 thousandths per pass. Let's do a plunge rate of 20. Whoops. Got to get down the right line here. Plunge rate of 20. And we'll let it ramp in. Plunge angle is 45. S conventional, rough cut. Step over 300 thousandths. Let's just run 20 inches a minute. And the finish pass is climb. Let's leave 20 thousandths. And we'll just run the feed rate at 20. And we'll accept that, F10. And that should be it. So now we'll escape. And let's graph it, F8. You can see it starts in the middle, goes out and uh, makes its cut, and sweeps around, and it'll do that in five passes. Okay. We'll escape. 
Now we need to post it. Post the G code. Successful. All right, let's run it and see how it goes. Okay, let's get the flange and see how it fits. Should just drop right through. Okay, let's see how we did. Looks good. I thought I'd give you a short clip of the Y-axis servo motor housing in place and the uh, bearing pocket flange that I machined. It fit really good. Um, the, uh, the fit of the housing over that flange was just a light slip fit. It's not loose. Works great. Um, all I got to do is replace, get some quarter 28 uh, Allen head screws for that. But uh, 
looks like the repair is going to work out. Um, I've got a new motor to stick on here and I have to, I'm waiting on a pulley for the motor and then I'll put the pulley uh, that drives the ball screw on and I think I'll have enough play because um, of course I did lose a little bit. Here you can see the the flange sandwiched between the knee and the motor housing. So I lost that a little bit but I think I have plenty on the ball screw and uh, I think it's going to work out okay. So I'm pretty proud of the way it turns out. It looks pretty good and uh, hopefully it's another step in getting the mechanicals ready on this Supermax YCM40 and ready for a new control. Um, I decided to go with an all-in-one DC because I got another DC brush servo. I'm going to work with uh, DMM Technologies on another project. And there's a quick sneak peek. It's an Omniturn slide. And it's going to go on this orphaned Victor toolroom lathe. And uh, more on that in a future series of videos. But uh, anyway, so that's where we're at. And uh, I can call this part of the project just about done. And it should work out just fine.